One more on this left side and let it go. Let it go. There it is. All right, man. Yeah, that was a good pop. Yeah. <laughs> You're making me work today, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> So in terms of your upper back, because that's where you say you feel a lot of that stress over here. Mm -hmm. um, where do you feel, is it more up like we talked about up here, or is it more down in the mid between the shoulder blades? It's typically in the middle. In the middle? Yes. So more so between the shoulder blades? Yes. Okay. Now, when it really starts to happen, it, does it usually just stay right into the center, or do you feel like it trickles up to the top? Uh, it, it does. It goes everywhere. It just but that's the focal point yeah right into the center here and then the lower back where do you feel it in the lower back it, it's always like right on the sides so right, these bones. right into the yeah. center here okay and then I think as I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. by my like my liver areas like it spreads that right that into the kidney area yeah, I'm sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. The kidney, it's all right no. kidney liver though the same <laughs> just kidding or um so, <laughs> so basically um so in terms of that so you feel like it does kind of spread to where these muscles and those those organs typically are yes all right um and then you also mentioned we do have some stress up in the neck here as well now you said that you were uh, a pretty uh, regular soccer player like and you said that's been going you've been playing for all my life forever yeah okay um, now I will tell you that the the act of what's called heading the I, I, I used to call it head butting the ball but soccer yeah. players have corrected me over the years head, yeah. yes <laughs> um, but when you do that you put a lot of stress onto it so when you usually hit the ball it's either in the front or in the top but a lot of times that compression will create that stress onto the joint which makes sense why we talked about with the arthritis in your neck here mm -hmm. like the continuation of those repetitive traumas that you have, it will create that stress onto the joints and onto the disc here. So um, it makes sense when you're having a lot of that stress in that joint. Over the years of just continuously hitting the ball with your head, will create a lot of that stress on top of some of the other traumas that I'm sure you've had as well. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, let's take a look at, actually, before I take a step, um, where do you feel the neck pain at usually? It's always, typically it's on the left side mm -hmm. and it's like, all, all down my shoulder uh -huh. right here, but it's always like right here mostly. Right in the base of the yes. neck there. Okay, well, let's take a look at you. Let's see what's going on. Chin down just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna push onto the spine. This is one, two, three, four. All right, so this is C6, C5, six, Seven. Any soreness or pain on those ones? Uh, if I had two, six was six more. is just a little bit more. I'm yeah. push on the side here. Here's six, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's between six and seven. Now. Between six yeah. and seven. I'm gonna tilt your head back just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So what we're looking for that head should glide back just a little bit. So as the head glides back that joint should tilt in and, and tuck in a little bit. There's not much movement in that C6 there. So I think we're gonna start with your C6 and see how you respond with that. Six, seven, one, two, three. Here's your three, four, three, four. It's, it's four. Yeah. four, yeah. All right, drop that shoulder for me. Oh, oh, there it goes already. Hold that right there. There it is, good. All right, have a seat. Can I mind it? Oh, a couple right. pops right here. <laughs> well, even just getting you into that position, you can tell your, your joint wanted to go into position. Um, so that moved pretty good, and then I just set it a little bit better on that second time. So just with that going stand right here, you're going to face me from And I want you just kind of marching in place. And just kind of walking with your feet. There you go. And the good thing is I want you to keep walking with those arms here, okay? And especially for your mid-back, as you're walking and swinging the arms, it's getting those movements into the joints, which especially is going to be important for your mid-back because we want to get movement in the upper thoracics, okay? All right, relax the arms down to the floor. There you go, just like that. All right, so that T4, so this is where your spine goes over to that left, and then it kinks over and moves back into the right here, okay? We're going to try to center that back down here, okay? See here, one, two, three. Okay. All right, 
this might be a little sore, but we can get some positioning, uh, repositioning to that joint's gonna feel a lot better, okay? Okay. All right, relaxing the shoulders. Take a deep breath for me. Let it go. Drop the shoulders right there. Oof, really tight. And breathing in. Let it go. Drop the shoulders. Just a little bit of movement. Almost some deeper set. Last one. Let it go. Drop, drop, drop. Wiggle your toes for me. There's the rest of it. Let's get this to relax. Chin down just a little bit. Five. And there's your C6 right there. And I'm going to bring you down just a little bit more because you are a little bit taller here. You said how tall are you? 5'11". 5'11". Well, I'm 5'6". I'm a little short. So <laughs> hold that right there. So just let your head just kind of relax in right there. Perfect. Right there is perfect. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give a little bit of a push right here. You just have to relax your left shoulder for me. And just let it drop. And as you relax that left shoulder, and a little bit of a push. Bring your chin up just a little bit. One more on this left side, and let it go. Let it go. There it is. All right, man. Yeah, that was a good pop. Yeah. <laughs> You're making me work today, man. I appreciate that. How'd you do with the neck adjustment? You okay? Yeah, that one felt good. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Let's see here. How are you doing over there? You doing well? Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and chin down a little bit. Kind of rescope you here. Good. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. All right. Let's just see. Okay. And so as you come back in next uh, time you come in, your next appointment, we're going to reassess your spine, see how it's looking. Uh, we might work a little bit differently because your joints, they have some stress up on the top here. So as your spine tries to readapt and shift and move and change, um, that can clear up. Or next time you come in, I might need to work on that upper back, okay? okay. All right, so I'm going to walk you through what we just did, and then we'll get you guys out of here, okay? Okay. All right, so first things first. So the first one that we did was your L5. Again, that's the foundation of your spine. It kinks back this way and it's sending your spine to that left. We're gonna to try to close that down to get you back closer to center here. The second one we did was your T4. Again, your spine kinks over to that left and then it compensates to get you back into the center. And that's where we're seeing some of that stress here. We will work on the bottom one because that will help to create some of that, uh, decrease some of that stress that's happening up here. But this is where we're seeing the biggest reading today. So we're gonna work on that here, okay? Now, the last one that we did was your C6. Again, you have this curve on the bottom and then it gets stuck and straightens out on the bottom of, on the rest of the spine. Um, so we're gonna try to move that positioning of that joint and shift it forward to get pressure off of that joint and on that nerve, um, but help to reposition or rechange that structure in the neck here. Okay, okay. so that's a good start for today. Okay. Overall, how are you doing? Good. You doing okay? Yeah, not too bad. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when, I'm, when I start walking and then kind of feeling later, hey, how does this make yeah. it like a, a later on effect kind of a thing? Correct. Well, the biggest thing is you did well in the adjustments, right? Um, and this is where uh, we're just kind of scratching the surface. Like you said, now after you leave the office and you get movement in your body, this is where the work happens. So this is where it's important for you to get some walking in. So 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you guys are able to do, um, get some walking in because now it's just like we unlock the spine. Now the walking is going to help to undo a lot of the stress that's occurring, which can happen where that body is shifting over this way. When we try to reposition that, the pain that you experience down below, it may shift to the right, it may shift to the left. You'll start to see change in your body and that's what we want to see, okay? okay? Now, the other thing is if you do feel some aggravation or some soreness, ice is your best friend. Okay. 15, 20 minutes, get an ice pack, put a paper towel around it, and ice the areas that you might feel some soreness, okay? okay. Uh, the last thing is how's your water intake? Uh, All right. It's more soda intake. Okay. <laughs> well, let's decrease some of the refined sugars in the soda, try to increase some of the water, okay? okay. Um, the reason why is because it's going to help to flush out a lot of the toxins, but it also helps to lubricate the joints in the body, okay? okay? So if we can focus on those three things right now, the ice, the walking, and the water, I think we'll be in good shape, okay? okay? Any questions for me? Sounds like a game plan. All right, right, man. Well, thank you for being here. Appreciate you did good, it. man. I'm no proud worries. of you. Um, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing some good changes for you, man. I'm really yeah. excited for that.